Hello, now in this exercise, uh, we really are trying to get some practice with accepting two different keyboard inputs, one after the other, uh, as we did in the lesson there, lesson two. And so we're going to first ask the user, is it sunny outside, enter Y or N, and then immediately after that, we're gonna accept that as a user entry, and then we're going to print out, is it warm outside, again, entering yes or no, and then Obviously, there's some details here that you're going to have to, to get correct in order to, to use system.in.read in order to get these two inputs to even work. And then after that, we want to print out some messages as a basis on the basis of what we actually got from the user. So obviously, there's two answers for the first question, two answers for the second question. So there's only four possible outcomes of what the user inputs, assuming they input you know correctly Y or N in each case. There's only four different ways. So either it's going to be sunny and warm, sunny and cold, cloudy and warm, cloudy and cold. Here I'm assuming the opposite of sunny is cloudy. I'm, I'm assuming the opposite of warm is cold. And so you want to, you know, there's, many, again, many, many ways to set this up. I've done it my way, uh, and you're going to, I'm sure, have your way of doing it, which it probably won't look very much like my way. But on, in the end of the day, all you care about is, is does it do the job right? So let's run this program. Is it sunny outside? So if I hit yes and hit enter, then it's going to ask me, is it warm outside? And so I'll hit yes, and then I'll hit enter, and then it said it is sunny and warm outside. Now if I change it and go yes and then no, so then it tells me it's sunny and cold outside. And then if I do, uh, is it sunny outside? No. And is it warm outside? Yes. Then it will be cloudy and warm outside. And then finally, if I do no and no, then it's cloudy and cold outside. So I've covered all four possible cases. That's all that I care about in this program. Again, mine's probably gonna look quite a bit different than yours, but what I did is I first have the uh, Java Throws uh, guy there, which handles the uh, keyboard input that we're doing. And then I declare a character, uh, which is gonna be capturing the answer from the, from the user. Now there's many ways of doing it, but what I decided to do is create a Boolean variable, Sunny, which I'm going to initialize. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm initializing them true, false, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to essentially give the values to sunny and warm depending on my inputs. So remember, Boolean values can only take true or false answers. And so um, it's perfect for this kind of thing when then there, there can only be a true or false state. I also have another Boolean called warm that's going to handle the other question. And so what I'm going to do is ask the user, is it sunny outside? Enter yes or no. And then I accept the input from the user. I'm assuming it's either Y, capital Y or capital N. I'm storing it in the character uh, for the variable input. And then I have a pair of if statements. If the input that I just got was a yes, then I'm going to set that Boolean sunny variable to true. And if I get a no value, I'm going to set that Boolean value to false. All right, so that handles the first question because ultimately when you when you select the, there again, there are many ways to do it, but in the way I did it, I'm accepting the first input and then I'm going to set the state of sunny, either true or false, and then I'm going to collect the second input and I'm going to accept or set the state of is it warm outside again to true or false. So again, because I did system.in.read, I need to read two dummies and throw them away because this is the car carriage return and this is the line feed that get thrown away so that I can then accept the next question from my, from my user. Is it warm outside? And then I finally take the real user input uh, and, and I'm, you notice I'm storing it in the same character variable. I'm reusing it over and over again uh, there. And then if I get as an input yes, then I'm going to set warm to true. And if I get a no, I'm going to set warm to false. So at the conclusion of this part, based on the two inputs, I now have a state for the, for the uh, sunny variable and a state for the warm variable. Either it's going to be true or false in each case. So now I have everything needed to print out my statement. So here we go. If it's sunny is true and, that's what this is, warm is true, then I'm going to print out it's sunny and warm outside. If sunny is true and warm is false, then I say it's sunny and cold outside. And the same sort of thing. If sunny is false, warm is true, then it's cloudy and warm. And then the other state, false and false, means it's cloudy and cold. And so it's a little bit of a brute force approach here because we know that we can only have sunny being either true or false. We know that we can only have warm being either true or false. So because of that, we know that we only have four different combinations of these things. So we have some single line if statements that just go through and we're using the and 
logical operator because we want to only print this out when this and this, this and this, this and this in these particular states. So the way my program works, basically we accept the input, we set the state of the sunny uh, Boolean flag, then we ask the next input, we set the state of the warm Boolean flag, and then we just do some ifs to know what to print out. Again, yours might look totally different. There are many ways to organize this. None are really better than the others, but this is how I did it. So hopefully if you have some problems in your code, you can sort of see what I did uh, and maybe tweak it, tweak the way you've done it in your code as well.